We're getting closer and closer to Apple's September event where they launch the new iPhone lineup. But this year we may see a lot more. In today's video, I'm going to share what to expect at Apple's September event. But before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. This video is sponsored by Setapp, an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a 7-day trial for free when you use the link listed down below in the description. So starting off, there has been a little bit of confusion regarding the number of events that Apple is planning on holding this September. According to Mark Gurman, Apple is going to be hosting multiple fall events, which makes sense to me, as last year we had three different events in the fall. We had one in September, one in October, and one in November. But according to DigiTimes, Apple is going to hold two events in September, one in the middle and one at the end. I believe that German's report makes more sense because I don't think Apple would want to release all of the products remaining for 2021 in only one event, right? But let's talk about the releases expected at the one September event. The first product, of course, is the iPhone 13, and we've talked about it in another video, so there's a full video here on the channel talking in a lot more detail about it, but the iPhone 13 is probably going to have the same design as the iPhone 12, and it will have mainly camera updates. The new lineup is also going to have improved performance due to the A15 chip, but no major upgrades this year. Now, the second product expected for the September event is the Apple Watch Series 7. This release is exciting because we may have a completely new design and it may be really similar to the iPhone 12. So the new Apple Watch may have a squared edges design, a larger display, thinner display bezels, and a new lamination technique that could bring the display closer to the front. Also, the new watch may have improved performance, larger speakers, and the speakers are indeed a lot larger than previous models, and Apple could be testing several colors. According to John Prosser, it is possible to be released in green. And according to German, the new device may also include updated ultra-wideband functionality, which is the same tech seen in Apple's AirTag. About other updates, Apple is probably going to be pushing back the body temperature sensor to 2022 and postpone the blood sugar sensor to monitor glucose levels for several more years. German also suggested that Apple would release a more rugged version of the Apple Watch this year, but he now said that this won't arrive until 2022 at the earliest. And last but not least, we may see the release of the AirPods 3 at the September event. The AirPods 3 have been rumored for a long time, we've been waiting for it for a long time, and these AirPods are supposed to have a new design, which is supposed to be similar to the AirPods Pro with a new case, shorter stems. However, these AirPods are not going to feature noise cancellation and transparency modes. The great thing about it is that it's supposed to be cheaper than the AirPods Pro. And briefly talking about next year, the second generation AirPods Pro may have a new design and Apple may eliminate the stems altogether. Also, it could feature updated motion sensors and focus on fitness tracking. But unfortunately, this is not happening in 2021. So this is what to expect from Apple's September event. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.